Yankees fans, can you believe this? John Carlos Stanton has been officially snubbed from attending the All-Star game. I thought MLB was going to get on the phone, say, hey, this player can't attend. Let's bring John Carlos Stanton to the All-Star game. I mean, MLB, come on. The All-Star game this year has been, hmm, one word, messy. First, we saw Snail being snubbed. Of course, he's making the All-Star game now, right? Because it's just ridiculous not having a picture like that, top quality. Nace really not attend the All-Star game. Then you have players like uh, Mitch Moreland from the Red Sox making the All-Star game as a reserve. So I'm not about to say this because John Carlos Stanton is not going to the All-Star game. I could see this All-Star game being low rated. I can see the ratings just declining. Because the way I see it, the hype is not there. In my opinion, and it's just my opinion, everything got off to a lousy start. Even the Home Run Derby, you're not going to see top names attend the Home Run Derby. So expect the same low ratings for the All-Star game. So Yankees fans, let's talk about something that is getting high ratings. Let's talk about the story that everybody's talking about. Again, the Yankees have put their names into the hat once again for Manny Machado. The NY Post is reporting that the Yankees are willing to include top prospects now for Manny Machado and obviously Zach Britton because they're not going to do that trade unless Britton is included, unless it's a three-way trade and the Yankees can't obtain another player that's not named Zach Britton. For my loyal subscribers on this channel, you saw the video I put out. I did not include Sheffield. I did not include Frazier. I did not include all these players that Brian Cashman, after said that they wouldn't trade for Manny Machado. So I've been spot on with that. The players involved are very similar. I included Herman. I included Drury. I included Adams. I included Sessa. I included McKinney. But I could see the Yankees obtaining Manny Machado if they include or add another player such as a Floreal or a Brayu. Those are the names that are floating around right now for Manny Machado. You guys have also seen the backup trade scenarios that I have uploaded on this channel as well. If that trade falls off, the Phillies are a contender for Machado, the Brewers are a contender for Machado, the Dodgers are a contender for Machado, etc. If that trade somehow falls through, the Yankees have a whole bunch of other scenarios that they can make very similar to an impact bat like Machado. That will obviously add that jolt that the Yankees need, a rejuvenation just as they added Gleyber Torres to this roster and you saw the Yankees take off. They need that once more again with an offensive bat. I've said this in the offseason. I said, hey, John Carlos Stanton is not going to be enough. The Yankees need to add another offensive bat to their lineup just for the fact that the Red Sox and their team is going to be a first place team. Hey, I called it before anybody. Everybody said, what am I smoking? Am I high? No, I just knew the Red Sox were going to be a tough team because they had good pitching and good offense and pesky hitters. So as of now, the Yankees are four and a half games behind the Red Sox, where really I had them. So yes, I still believe the Yankees need to go for the jugular. They need to make a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch of moves. They need to make that one move that is just going to guarantee them that first place spot in the AL East. This is just going to be ridiculous that the Yankees went close to 100 games and they're a wild card team. Just ridiculous. The Yankees are the Yankees. The Yankees need to act like the Yankees. They need to make these moves that are going to bring them to the top. And they need to act fast. The Yankees have a whole bunch of relievers that they could flip for prospects next season as well. Like a Dellen Batances. And then, hey, you could re-sign him when he's a free agent. So the Yankees giving up a couple of prospects is not the end of the world. They could easily flip players on their roster for prospects. And like I said, if Manny Machado doesn't land on the Yankees, let's say he's traded to another team, it's not the end of the world. The Yankees have a whole bunch of other trade possibilities that they can make. An ace that's possibly going to become a target these coming days is Max Scherzer. I see a whole bunch of comments saying this guy makes a whole bunch of money. No, if the Yankees could work out a deal, let's say uh, Max Scherzer is making $35 million next year. That's what he's going to make, right? If the Yankees could get that down to 25 to 20 that's a good deal. If the Yankees could get those $15 million after he's gone from the Nationals down to, let's say, $8 million, and that's a good deal. Let's not live in a fantasy, folks. Adding Max Scherzer to this rotation, Severino and Max Scherzer against Cole and Verlander, 
I will pick Severino and Max Scherzer any day of the week and other people as well. So Yankee fans, that's all that I have for you at the moment. Manny Machado talks are heating up again. I don't know if it's just newspapers trying to get clicks, but the NY Post is pretty legit. So I'll take their word on it. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.